I'm good. Um, once again, we are here in Rock, Louisiana. We're here with Neg Bellhard. New band called Dog War coming to the Lafayette, Louisiana area. Um, you are the drummer of this band. Yes, sir. I sure am. How long, you having me here. how long have you been the drummer? Uh, man, it, kind of funny story. I, uh, I started out like when I was nine years old playing piano and then 13, I was playing guitar slash bass. And then as I got a little older, I just wanted to expand everything. So it was probably about, I don't know, 22 maybe when I started playing drums. I've still never owned a drum set in my life. I'm like using somebody else's. So, mm-hmm. I mean... It just kind of came naturally, you know. You still don't have your own drum set? No. <laughs> this is the first band I've ever played drums for. So, you know. well, You're going to get your own eventually, well, right? Yeah, when they start paying us. This dude. <laughs> I'm going to come in with some some buckets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, I would do it. Whatever. No. I mean, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not an amazing drummer, but <laughs> I, I, uh, I, could, I could do it. I mean, no, it's I, not, dude, there's not terrible. Dude, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, basically you just need to be the second to last band. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> just we're, play we're, we're first, wait, wait, you, wait, you never have to tote any gear in. You just use another shit. When you're this new, it, it, it's you have to be. You have to play first. You mm-hmm. know, you have to be first on the bill. I mean, there's no getting around it. I mean, I, I'd rather be first on the bill because I don't want to headline right now with a. Uh, I don't know. With us being this new, you know, people don't don't mm-hmm. want to come and see us specifically. They go and see the headliner and then catch us and go, hey, they were, you know. Right. decent hopefully and uh then they'll go look us up on uh, on facebook and instagram and all that kind of stuff so well let me ask you this, um who else tell me else who else is in the band so um singing is my cousin uh, lance dc he's singing and uh, playing guitar and then our friend brian butcher is playing bass and he sings as well um the track that i, I gave you today mm-hmm. was, it just says lance singing but i mean you know if anybody comes to the show on friday they'll hear both of them and then, uh, of course, I'm on drums, and that's all I'm doing for that one. So, When did y'all do this track? Uh, we recorded it last week. Not this past weekend, but the one before. We went to mm-hmm. uh, Leap Studios, which, uh, I mean, it's such an amazing place. I recorded my podcast there and everything. And um, so Paul Broussard, who's the producer and chief engineer over there, he, uh, he recorded this whole song for us in a matter of three hours. Mm-hmm. You know, very quick process, very easy process. You know, it's, it's such a pleasure to work with. So... Um, it sounds pretty good, man. It's a track called Revelation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it. So yeah. Well, we're gonna let's just play it now. All right, yeah. Let's cool. just go into it. Here's Dog War mm-hmm. with Revelation. No. 
and that was Revelation with Dog War. How many tracks have y'all ha- do you have right now, man? Well, that's the only one that we've uh, recorded so far. Uh, we just wanted to release one and uh-huh. kind of get people to understand, you know, what we sound like before they come and see us. Right. And, uh, but currently, I think our set list is about uh, eight songs long, so give or take about 40 minutes or so, mm-hmm. you know, with talking to the crowd and, you know, interaction. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, man, that was a, that was a song called Revelation. We, uh, like I said, we, we did that in maybe three hours. It was, it was such an easy process. This is the first time I've ever professionally recorded a song in my life, and I've been a musician for almost 20 years now. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty interesting, man. I mean, what does it remind you of? Man, I, I don't know. It's it, it, it's different than a lot of uh, a lot of bands that you hear. You know, mm-hmm. it, it's simple music. You know, I think the whole song there's two chords, the entire song, right? And uh, you know, plus the solos and everything. But I don't know, man. Like a lot of our our big influences, one of them is Blink One Eighty Two or the Three mm-hmm. Piece, for God's sakes. You know, um, it's but, like a chilled out. Like relaxing punk, right? Exactly. To I me. always say it's kind of like a like a like garage rock, but mm-hmm. it's fun and just kind of hang out and listen to it. You know? Yeah. We have a, we have quite a few songs that are that are a little bit more upbeat than that. You know? We got one that's like a really a really cool punk song. It's the first one on our set list called uh, "On My Own," and I mean it's quick, it's fast, it's 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 fun. Mm-hmm. And then there's one song that's very very slow. You know, so I don't know. I, I enjoy it, man. I enjoy it a lot. I mean, my drums, as, as you can hear on that track, were pretty uh, rudimentary. Mm-hmm. But at this point, I mean, it's kind of what I what I have to do because I'm not really a drummer per se. Yeah, you know, I'm more of a guitar player. And a, it sounds a good, player. though, man. <clears throat> Thank you. It's Thank not you very bad. Much. Really appreciate. Um, it. it does sound. I mean, it, it's it's a different sound than what I'm used to hearing here for sure. Mm-hmm. I would um. Y'all are playing Friday at Freetown. Friday night at Freetown Boom Boom Room. Uh, doors open at about 8 or 8.30. I can't really remember which one, but we'll probably how, go on soon after that. How long is it? What do you mean? How long are y'all playing? Uh, our set is going to be about 40 minutes, give or take. And are you going to record it? I don't know. You don't need to? Yeah? Yeah, I would. I don't know how. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, I mean, on a, a cell phone and a voice memos, yeah, but... Oh. I, I wonder, I mean, to me, it would be cool if y'all would just plug into the board somehow and record the whole thing. I'm sure that wouldn't be difficult. I, I don't think it would be difficult there. I mean, they, they're they a lot more able to, mm-hmm. you know, they're chilled out. And, well, Judd Kennedy runs the sound over yeah, there. and uh, he, He'll he know how to do it. Okay. I'll ask him. It's going to be our first show, man. And, uh, you know, in fact, you playing uh, Revelation over here, that's do, the first time anyone's ever heard it. Do, do, do y'all have to sell 50 tickets? No. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I, I told you <laughs> from that. our from our uh, our last discussion. Yeah, I told no, I'm you fucking. That. I was th- I, I was listening to it yesterday, and I was like, oh man, it's funny. <laughs> the whole time I'm we, we were doing that podcast, I was eating runts. Yeah, you were. You can and hear like it. You, I could hear it the whole time. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> you you dropped them on the ground. <laughs> you could hear them and all kind of shit. People probably, <laughs> like, clink, what the clink. hell is going on over there? Because it's, no, it's a very um, audible wood floor over there, so anytime you drop anything, you're going to hear it. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, man, man. Um, I mean, y'all should probably be able to do an album soon. And we're going to uh, we're gonna wait a little bit, you know, play some shows, make a little little scratch so we can right. pay for it. Because, dude, it's so hard to pay for, for recording. How much know? is it now? Man, um, most studios will charge you right around 50 an hour. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, just for one song, like I said, this song, as simple as it is, it took us about three or four hours. So, you know, there, there's, it, it's, there's steps that you got to take to do it. And then, of course, production value, if, uh, if like, Paul, he, he's the uh, producer as well, mm-hmm. that's an extra fee there, you know. So it's, prob- it's about $300 a song. Give or take. Um, I mean... I'm sure you could you could make an agreement mm-hmm. on, on on a set price for a whole song, provided it's not like intricate, you know, some kind of a right. jazz ensemble or something. But um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd say give or take three, four hundred dollars, yeah. more along the lines of four. But you know, a whole album of ten songs, think about that, it's four thousand dollars. Yeah. So, so and to make that kind of money in Lafayette, to make it back, it's you know? almost impossible. 
um, we we're very spoiled when it comes to paying for music. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people want it free. Yeah. And, and I'm not talking about like that old Napster thing. I'm yeah. talking about going to shows. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've gone up and paid a 10 or $15 cover. And right. you have a guy right behind me saying like, oh, this is nonsense. Why I have to go and, <laughs> and pay a, a $15 to yeah. s- have, you know be entertained. You need to entertain me for free. You know, well, that's that's boy. gonna change eventually, man. Because like, pe- you know, like the the least amount, the less, the less that they have here, the 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 more that it's gonna change, I right. think. But absolutely, you know, when whenever just about anybody will get up on the stage and play, you know, when eventually it gets, when it, if it gets boring, mm-hmm. they're gonna want to pay. I, I would gladly yeah. pay for something that's more entertaining. For sure, I mean, than anything. I mean, but it, when somebody has like an album, I try to buy it because I know it, I know what they deal with. But then again, if you buy it on iTunes or something, you know how much I don't. money they make. Oh, I don't want. I, I would like to have a physical just so I, I can too, buy it. Man, I do too. It, yeah. it's, it's it, you have it's it. Easier. It's yours. You can't delete a physical copy. You can throw it in the trash, of course, but like yeah. you can't accidentally throw it. Or out the MP3. Window. I mean, I could burn it, but I mean, you know, I'd rather. I I'd, I would rather be supportive in that way. Mm-hmm. To me, it's better. Yeah, I mean, um, or the T-shirt because the T-shirts. T-shirts are like almost pure profit. For yeah, I mean, you, you make more. You know, you know, you're making more money on it for sure. Right. I mean, it, the, the cost of a T-shirt is probably about ten bucks if I had to say, and then they sell them for twenty, and so they make a hundred percent profit. You know, right. That's always good. Is it okay if we put this song in the rotation on Rock Absolutely, Louisiana? Absolutely, man. Okay. Please do. Well, I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, that would be that would be really um, cool. 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 Yeah, man probably gonna have to get out of here pretty soon okay so. but but for sure friday yes 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 um starting at eight o'clock Excuse me. and y'all are with a band called bleach correct yeah uh doors open at eight um it, us, it, it, we're yeah. dog war we're gonna be playing first and then uh bleach will be headlining bleach is a cool little band if, man. They're, they're it, it, I, I mean it, it reminds i mean nirvana's first well, album was bleach but right. it immediately makes me think about nirvana but um they're kind of like it, it's almost if you take um I don't know how familiar you are, you are with uh, like hip hop and stuff. I mean, I'm I'm familiar with it, you know, more of the, the 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 New York sound, right, right, <laughs> than well, I am here for sure. I, I don't I don't really like the stuff here too much. Man. No, me, but me. but I, I mean I mean I'm probably I have to play something I have to do Friday, but I'm probably gonna come. Okay, and um, I check it out. I want I want to. I just need to make sure I can get there at the right time. Well, they bleach is more like a um, like rock means. Mm-hmm hip-hop but not like limp biscuit or lincoln park or anything these guys it's legitimate like hip-hop verses and then hip-hop choruses mm-hmm. but they, it's a rock band playing in the background it's super super cool man it's a little eclectic uh-huh. but like i i it's probably not I bad at it. all yeah i mean yeah I, I've, I've heard a lot of their stuff are they on before you or after after they're headlining okay so it's two bands that's it right yeah okay. i didn't want more than two what bands. a five dollar cover yes okay cool Five dollar cover. Uh, there are drink specials if anybody wants to know them. Uh, Two dollar high life, and I have the, the text message here. Let's see. It is two dollar high life, two dollar eight star whiskey, and three dollar Kraken black rum. I so what? Wait, what? Two dollar what? Yeah, two dollar Miller high life. What was the second one? Eight star. Eight whiskey. star. What? What is that? No clue. I've Ooh, never had it. I'm not a whiskey scary. drinker. I'm a vodka guy. That sounds scary. But, yeah, and three dollar crack and black rum. I've so. I've had that, but but with eight star. Oh, I'm gonna be just be drinking high life all night. That sounds like a Ouija board. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, plus that that track uh, Revelation that we have is gonna be on YouTube tomorrow, so uh-huh. everybody can go listen for free. I mean, you know, it's not gonna be on on iTunes or anything yet. I think we're going to wait until we have the full album to actually release that. Okay. And then, um, you know. Okay. So, appreciate you having me on, dude. Yeah, dude. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I, like I said, this Friday, not tomorrow, but the next day, people. Right. Well, well at this unless point, you're listening to it on Thursday. If people are on the East Coast, tomorrow. they're not going to be coming here, but it's definitely <laughs> but it, is tomorrow. It's, it's 8 o'clock Thursday. Central. Right. By eight the way. 8 o'clock Central time. Cool. Y'all come on. Go check it out. Yeah. Have a good night. Appreciate it. You too, man.